Everyone, I'm Ron Jones. And I'm Aisha Howard. A reveal investigation has uncovered records of defects, caseworkers lying, falsifying records, and being negligent on the job. Now, these are state employees who are supposed to keep abused and neglected kids safe. Faith Abube reports one family is calling for changes the agency promised years ago. She was juicy, my juicy jaw baby. <laughs> Sometimes I just sit and go through all of these and cry. Imani Moss didn't make it to 11 years old when she died at the hands of her stepmother, beaten and starved to death. <sighs> and from a child juicy like that to bony like my finger. Robin, her grandmother, blames Imani's killer, but she's also one of several families currently suing DFACS, the Georgia Division of Family and Children's Services for negligence and wrongful death. I called DFACS. DFACS knew about her case and they did nothing about it. Imani's case forced a series of changes at DFACS to try to make kids safer. But six years, millions of dollars, and three new agency directors later, the reveal has uncovered records showing two out of every five caseworkers have violated agency policy, potentially putting kids in danger. Between January 2013 and August 2018, out of roughly 1,900 caseworkers, more than 800 were disciplined. Some were minor policy violations, but about 14% of the caseworkers falsified a record or lied about checking in on a child in defects custody. And 42% were negligent and inefficient in performing their assigned duties. Tom Rawlings is the defects director. I think the, the good, the hopeful side of this is that we are catching all of those instances. But we're catching them after the fact. Yes. Um, but remember that we are, we are all humans here. But I will say we do not tolerate falsehoods. We do not, we cannot tolerate unethical behavior. Rawlings points to the list of disciplinary actions as progress, but Robin sees it a different way. Yeah, they stepped in, let's see, after, the, after she was murdered. It's too late to step in when a child is gone. Now, Faith, we should point out that you press deep facts on the specifics of what exactly they're trying to do to fix this problem. Are they fixing this problem? So the priority for the new head of DFACS, Rawlins, is to change the culture there. He says once you address that, a lot of these things will go away. He says these caseworkers are still underpaid. They are overworked, which is why a lot of these things are falling through the cracks. So he's addressing that. The second thing they're doing is now randomly reviewing three to 500 cases every month to make sure they are catching these problems wow. before they happen, and they're giving these caseworkers the help they need. And, of course, you guys are going to stay on top of this. By the way, folks, you can watch the in depth version of this reveal investigation right now on 11alive.com.